caretaker, okay? I'm actually the caretaker. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. Take care of someone else. I am taking care of her. That's why I'm here. Your status closed. They're illegally doing that. Quit turning around. Those people are witnesses. I said quit turning around. Oh, Do it, you guys. Go. I was just out. Oh. Join us as we explore real-life encounters with squatters, leading to intense showdowns between property owners, landlords, and the police. From neglected buildings to foreclosed homes, these gripping tales will keep you on the edge of your seat. Starting with this case, where officers had to deal with a stubborn ex-tenant who refused to leave an unsafe house. I would lie to you guys. I was escorted by an officer. Can I put my pants on? Hey, Jeff, let him button us up. On December 7th, 2022, police officers responded to a dispatch call about a man brandishing garden shears and threatening construction workers. Upon arrival, they were shocked by the man's aggressive and erratic behavior. These are official court documents. These people are trespassing on my house. Do you own the house? The, no, I'm a tenant. Okay, ten then calm down and stop yelling. Okay, I'm a tenant. I'm a tenant. Yeah, I knew that. They, okay. They tried to evict the other three tenants. As you can uh -huh. see, it was dis it was dismissed. Notice of dismissal. Okay. He never went through. She moved to another apartment because the, the landlord keep harassing. Oh. So we, they can move to another apartment away. So mm -hmm. all my stuff is in there. They took my four thousand dollar bike, put it in the back door, and tried to tear the locks off of it yesterday. I said, hey, you're not allowed to touch tenants' property. If you know the law, you have to have a court to have a sheriff escort stuff out. You cannot touch my. I know, property. but if a house is condemned, it's a little bit no, different. No, no, yeah, upstairs. Well, the bottom, bottom is not the condemned. There's nothing wrong with the bottom. Right oh, oh, the electric there. bill, the water bill, the gas bill, everything works. It's in my name. You know what I'm saying? Everything. I got current bills. I just showed the police that just left. Three police officers so just the left. Bill? Yeah, yeah. It's in my phone. I got it all to my email. I got all the current bills in my name. Look. Notice of this. Notice I, of this dismissal for what? For all the evictions. This is eviction. Okay. This is the company that owns it. And look, notice of dismissal filed. On six case status closed. They're illegally doing that. That was in June. Yeah. Okay. The, the how, case, they've never got a dick. Nobody got a dick. Okay. Nobody did. That's They're why, illegally trying to take the house. That's what you're saying, but I, I'm not going to take your word for it. Okay. I'm this not. is proof. It's not proof. That's something that's like several months old. There's a lot of time that's passed from June to now. The house had been condemned after a fire and the man had been ordered to evacuate. As workers prepared to board up the property, he presented a six-month-old document claiming he was a legal resident. The police officers faced uncertainty and needed time to discuss and clarify the situation. Eventually, they obtained a document confirming that the man, later identified as Virgil, was not authorized to be on the property. Consequently, he was instructed to leave. Uh, this building's when, when I understand it's condemned and all that. Um, there's no signage on here. Usually the fire department puts a sign up that says it's condemned. Um, I think it was code, code enforcement. Where are those signs? Um, I, can, I, I can find out for you. Okay, because um, we, we Unless can only... they took it down. I haven't been on this property since it got burned down. Okay. Um, we can only act on what we can prove. Okay. Um, but right now where we stand, this is a civil disagreement between y'all. Um, he's not going to stop. Uh, he, as far as our experience with the courts, they're going to probably say he has a stronger legal grounds than you do at this point. Um, without something official that you guys have in hand saying that there's not allowed to be anyone in here, mm -hmm. um, we don't have anything to enforce. Got it. Okay? And I believe there was um, something posted that I might have got taken Yeah, down. but we need to see it. Okay. If we can't see it, then we'd be violating his rights. So the best thing to do is get the fire marshal out and we condemn it. Or, okay, you can forget about it. Without that, I can't force anything. I appreciate you guys. You know what I mean? Um, it's not about belief. Yeah. No, I just, uh, it, you know, he, he was threatening my guys. He had shears, you know, point out the I case where we were rolling But if, if it was a situation where, let's pretend for a second, he was completely in the right by being yeah, here, yeah, 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 then if, if, you, if you try to force me out of my house, I would threaten Cold you with more than shears. Uh, you know what I mean? Okay. So we have to, there's, without some proof, we need to err on the side of caution. Okay. Because it. that's a very expensive lawsuit for the city. Okay. Because right here it says 19 South Wheatland. Then right here it says this structure has been declared unsafe not to be occupied prior to repairs. Okay. They, okay, listen. Listen to me for a moment. They have permits that say this house is not to be occupied. Okay. I just, wit I just read them with my own eyes. I've seen the paperwork from the building inspector. It's not from code enforcement, it's from the actual building inspector. 
He is saying that this place is not to be occupied. There's not allowed to have anyone inside. Oh. The, la la the landlord is not allowed to let anyone in because he can face criminal charges for letting you in this house. You are already in that. You have to leave now. You're officially on notice. Hold on. I, so here's the thing. Code you enforcement. Stop. I just told you it's not code enforcement. It's building enforcement. And I saw the paperwork. House. The, the house is condemned. It, it's, it is, not, it's been deemed unsafe. I, code I just explained. I, I'm not. I'm not going to explain it again. So here's the thing. Okay, you good. have to go down to the court and you have to get basically a permission slip okay. to come in and get your belongings. You Ohio law. When you okay. condemn a house, you have I to know a thing or two about Ohio law. Okay. I'm if trained. You Google it right now. Virgil. You have to put the, pro the what, tenants. Virgil. Yeah. What you have to do right now is get your stuff and get off this property. Okay. And if you come back, you're subject to being charged okay. with trespassing. Okay. Man, you just lost. You just lost your badge. The officers escorted Virgil off the property and warned him that returning would lead to arrest. Despite several warnings, Virgil ignored the caution and returned to the property the very next day. We're going to see if Virgil's inside. Man, that's some real determination. Virgil, I am the police. I told the police already. They came out. No, you're lying. You're full of shit. No, Open this lying. door. They came out calling. Virgil. I talked to the minister, the code enforcement. I talked to the police. Virgil, open the door right now. Virgil, open the door right now. Virgil, open the door. I am the police. I'm the one that told you to leave. Open the door. Hey, I talked to the officers already. They came out. Hey, no officers approved for the beer. Where do you I'm have? Open the door. I will kick it in. I talked to the police. Open the door. I told the administration. You are breaking the law. Officer. It's a hell of a door. Call your boss. Call your boss. <laughs> I talked to them. Open the door. I talked to the fire department. Open it. I'm an officer. Open it. Call your boss. I am the department. I got a prison. I got, I got witnesses in here now. There are two witnesses in here. You, guys you got two trespassers in there? No. They are the police. Open the door. Here. It's coming in. Alright, get it open. I have to get my clothes on. Open the door, my man. Can I get my clothes on? Open no, it open now. The door. No! You're breaking the law. Man. Open the door! I talked to your supervisor! Call your supervisor! Open the door! I talked to the administration and the fire! Open the door! Man, I'm calling 911! I am 911! You're breaking the law, you're not a good officer! Virgil stubbornly refused to follow the officer's orders, insisting that he had already spoken with the police and had permission to stay. Despite his claims, the officers continued their efforts to gain entry. However, the door appeared to be barricaded, making forced entry difficult. Consequently, the officers enlisted the help of a construction worker to assist in breaking down the door. Officer, I'll open the door, dude. I and we'll have... You're harassing me. No. I, first shit came out of 10 officers came. You're breaking the law. No, the fire department said you're breaking the law. That was yesterday before we talked to your boss. Uh, I talked to my boss too. Open the door. No, we talked to him last night, man. Virgil, open the door. Virgil, open the door. Bro, you guys are crazy. I will get a ram and I will knock down this door. Just open it. You're breaking the law. Come on, bub. The open the door. Do open your residence to you do. Officer, call the third shift. Nope. Oh, call the third shift. Open it. Officer, call the third shift. I'm breaking my own solution. I'm on the phone for 911. Hey. Don't hurt me. Stop. You're trying to break my house. You cannot do that. Stop. Hey, sir. Hey! There's females in here, stop! Okay, I'm gonna let oh, I'm gonna open the door, stop! I said I'm gonna door, stop! Alright, open it. You're gonna open it, baby, or I'm gonna break it down. You're gonna open it, or I'm gonna break it down. Open it up, or I'll break it down! 
I'm opening the door. Do it. <clears throat> Do it now. Virgil, why is the door not open? Was it just his body or? There you go. I know. I really don't want to die. Jesus, put some fucking clothes on. Why are you standing there naked arguing with us? I didn't get a chance for my clothes on. I got permission. I wouldn't lie to you guys. I was escorted by an officer. Can I put my pants on? Hey, Jeff, let him button us up. Come on, man. Why, are you, why don't you believe? To ask your boss, hurry up. I would never lie to you. An officer escorted me. They were wrong. Okay, you but I better. didn't break the law. I, I just, just stop okay, it. I, I stood there, there and I told you that you were not allowed to come and, here. And anymore. I talked to your supervisor. No, you didn't. I did. No, just I shut up. Okay, you're done. The supervisor sent the police over. the belt on. Officer, the supervisor. I will rip you out there, put handcuffs on your pants off. Officer, this, you're, you're, you're wrong. I'm telling you. I won't lie. I never lie in my life. I'm telling you, the supervisor or the police. Hey, do it. Stop talking and put your seatbelt on. Put your, I, I, your belt on. You think I'm lying about being escorted by the officer of the law? I'm not lying. Let us in, so. Huh? I'm not, I was escorted by officer of law to my residence. I did not break the, the trespassing law. Put your hand, put that down. The officer was here. These two witness, women are witnesses. There was ten officers here, sir. You are illegally arresting me. You are under arrest. How? For the officer escorted me here. So you're saying the officer's not allowed to... Virgil, handcuffed and vehemently defending his story, was led to the back of a police cruiser. But I was escorted by a police officer. Please check. Put I'm not legs. breaking the law. Your legs. There's two witnesses right Red there. Legs. I am sorry. Quit turning around. Those females are witnesses. I said quit turning around. Oh, he's trying to hurt me, man. It's because I'm black. Stop it. It's because I'm black. No, I got witnesses. because you don't listen to directions. All this neighbor has seen. Ten officers escort me to my house, sir. I did not walk in my house. Despite his insistence, he was charged with trespassing, a crime punishable by up to 180 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and share. Up next, we dive into the case of a demanding tenant who insisted it was her landlord's responsibility to move her belongings. Don't do it! I swear to God! I swear to God, what? Don't do it! On March 6, 2022, police were called to a heated dispute where a woman stubbornly refused to vacate a residence despite requests from the owners. When officers arrived, one of them confronted her just outside the house. What happened next is truly remarkable. We, we, how many loads did we take yesterday? And I took a load today. Yeah. And, of her stuff? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I thought I thought she was gone a while ago. I didn't well, know. She's to be well, gone. she's supposed to be. Has she been formally evicted? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah we, okay. I have an eviction. Okay. okay. I, I just didn't know. Sometimes yeah. we have eviction notices, and then yet they haven't been served through our court. So I didn't. You want to see it? Sure. Yeah. I mean, did did our our uh, did Tony come over here through the court and say, hey, you, you know, you got to be gone? Did they kick her out? She hasn't lived here. She hasn't lived here in how long? Since December. Okay. Hey, uh, 605 Radio. Good, how are you? I'm good. What do you got going on here? Uh, my stuff from the patio. Okay. Yeah. Were you painting? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm painting my friend's house that I'm living at. Okay. In exchange for living there. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I know. How have oh, you been? I haven't girl. seen you in a while. She's getting a freaking job in half. Yeah? Heavy, heavy smoke. Okay. A heavy smoker. How are you doing? Oh, really good. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. I came for help a couple times up there at the station like they had told me to do, and they wouldn't come. I'm they sorry. Won't come. That's all right. I take my hand, you know, get matters into my own hands, and there's been a lot yeah. going on here in the past 15 years. Okay. And they found out all about it. Yeah. And they found out how she gets away with it. Do you want to... Do you mind sitting in my car with me to talk to me real no, quick? No, no, the no. wind's really crazy right no. now. No, thanks. I don't trust you guys. You don't trust me of everybody. I don't trust anyone. I don't think I've ever not, you know, been kind to yeah, you or done anything. You'll take off with me. Okay. No, no, no. Honestly, I was just trying to get out of the no, wind and stuff to talk to you, and I didn't no. want to go inside the house because it seems like... The, wind. the woman struggled to accept that she had been evicted. At first, her conversation with the officer seemed to be going well, but the situation quickly took a dramatic turn. In the house, but, oh, but the well, whole they, point is you can't... You're, you're they, evicted. Like, you're, um, you've been listen, evicted. Listen, officer... Quinn. I've tried three times to get you guys to come down here with me because that's what you told me you would do. You 
said, we're not going to watch you pack, but once you get packed, we will come and help you get your stuff out. That was three months ago, and yeah. nobody will come with me. Oh, you got news to us. Three times. No, I went there three times to your office. It's got to be set up with them in advance. They you just wouldn't walk in the house. come. I didn't walk in the house. They you wouldn't keep coming come. back there. I haven't. In three months, he refuses to bring me my shit. It's still in there. He doesn't have to bring you anything. Get out of my way, you Hold on, hold on. Hold on a second. You're not, you're not going to me. Alright. Don't do it! I swear to God! I swear to God, what? Don't do it! What? You Quick guys, so, I was just out. 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 I was just in the hospital for 30 days. You can't do this. Oh, oh, oh. You guys can't do this. I was, I was in the hospital. I was in the hospital. All right, come on. You guys, I was just in the hospital for 30 days. All right, come on, stand up, stand up. Help no. us, help yeah. us stand you up. No. Get my purse. Come on. It's in the car. What are you guys doing? Oh. Alright. Nice and easy. He wasn't bringing me Alright, come on, get your leg in here. Oh. I'm gonna get the AC going for you and we're gonna relax in oh, here, okay? Oh. Is that necessary? Well, I don't know. What's it? Despite clear evidence of her wrongdoing, she refused to accept responsibility and tried to outwit the officers. There we go. Oh, there we you go. Know. You're welcome. All right. Just remember, I don't have any discretion when it comes to anything. I was just here trying well, to talk you to you. Were never there when I okay. went. Okay, I, I wasn't. I wasn't they here. Me, they told me when I so three months ago, when I got the fake eviction, the illegal eviction. I know how she got away with that. You guys know. Everyone knows. Okay, but can I ask yeah, you a couple okay. things real quick, though, okay? Uh, and this is solely, this is solely for, for your medical, okay? They that they would come and help okay, do you have any type of medical conditions? Oh, I've been taking, um, vol, vol, I call it volcanic, volcanic acid. Okay. Vol, whatever they gave me when I left Opio. Okay, I don't know what it is. Would it have been it's like volume or anything? No, or no, no. I don't know what the volcanic. I don't either. It will pro product check you out and see you know how you were um, just to make sure that you're not injured or anything else like that are you feeling any pain anymore? oh my knee is killing me okay. my left knee and my face all right so we're gonna check that out and then if you'd like we can have medics check you out um, I also want to talk about I know you know your mental health status and stuff like that of course um, you do doesn't you feel... everyone well no that's up to you I'm not saying that there's anything well why don't you ask the doctor at Oakview that released me how about we start there? Well, I, I wanted to ask you how you were feeling. I'm not trying to do anything. I've been very patient. Okay. And um, so today, so Mr. Perrin has been jerking me around um, getting my stuff. Go ahead. And I know that I couldn't just come here and get it. And he wouldn't cooperate with Area being here for here. me to get it, which location. is what they had told me. They said, well, he needs to be there. I said, okay. He wouldn't even cooperate with that. Um, and then uh, would you consent to uh, medical treatment if something happened to you? And we had to, you know, essentially had doctors. If you were in custody and the doctors needed to treat you. Well, for my physical body? Yes. Well, I guess so. I don't know. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's not bleeding. Your blood would be coming through my pants. Okay. In the end, she was jailed, despite her belief that she was above the law, facing charges of trespassing, resisting arrest, and disturbance. Stay tuned for our next case, where a man's home is overrun by drug addicts and squatters. I'm actually a caretaker, okay? I'm On December 3rd, 2023, officers in Dayton, Ohio, were contacted by an apartment complex owner about a troubling situation. The owner reported that his property was occupied by several individuals involved in drug use and refusing to leave. When the owner attempted to confront the squatters, one of them brandished a firearm, leading to an urgent police report. What's up, dude? Hey, buddy. Oh, there's somebody over here. I know in the back, but I've been sitting out the street from the car the way here. Uh-huh. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? This is your, uh, 
Yeah, that's my, I got a damn license. Okay, you're fine. Yeah, I, I bought this property. See, if, you, if you didn't have a gun out there, bro. I know. Like, <laughs> you fucking tripping, right? The amount of people like, I don't carry a gun. I don't yeah. come out here with that gun. The dude pulled the gun out on me the other day. Yeah, I, I heard about that. Yeah. Like, like, man, I bought this place. Ain't nobody never messed with it. Mm. I was fixing it up. You know what I'm mean? Taking my time, trying to bring it back to life. Yeah. Working, coming when I can get some free time. Mm. And they, um, they, um, ain't nobody never messed with it. And then some, then they, they, it was a lot of people in here, so I just was some people in the back. After receiving a briefing, the owner and officers entered the house, uncertain of what to find. They were shocked by the building's condition. Anyone ever lived here, like officially? Yeah. Um, no, no. Like they boarded up on that side. Wow. From the inside. Like the squatters? Yeah, somebody had to it for the inside. Hey, what do you plan on doing with this place long term? I was trying to. You see that? See that? Yeah, what are you trying to like it? No, I was just saying, like, they had. Yeah, they probably got nailed. Someone's got a nail. Police, you're in here, tell me. Did you put this stuff in here? I, I did, not all of this stuff. I came back. I'm going to show you how I had it. So you, is this your stuff or no? No. The furniture, that table, that was my stuff. You put all this other crap on here? Man, no. Like this clothes and shit? No, ain't nothing. Man, I had this place. This is, uh, like, just to let you know, like, I've been having this for a while. That might be living here. Yeah, I know. When I came, when I came out of the day, that's when I found out that they've been all through my place. What about these, like, guitars and stuff? Man, I, man, I came here, it was about 20 people in this building. I'm surprised that these tools, um, are these your tools? Most of them my tools. So if somebody working, it's a working guy living in here. Like, there ain't nobody supposed to be in here. Like, this is like a bad dream for me. I put, I fix all of this up. Did you put... This no, like, I ain't put none like of that. that. That's what that's what I'm saying. Somebody else, I'm like, you okay, like, like, they decorate this like a like little bit. Like these clothes, okay, I've seen that yeah. before, but but, to but do they this, decorate it, you yeah. know, like that, like because <laughs> I love you, but your mother lived. Oh my god, they decorate this shit like. Which looked almost abandoned and was visibly neglected. As they continued their search, the severity of the squatter situation became increasingly clear. That's what they was doing. They keep it safe for themselves. So no other order coming. Because you're not going out. He did fix this room up. It is great. Okay, you don't need to come out. But I can't you don't need to come out. I'm trying to find some ID or something. This room wasn't even just like this a couple days ago. They ain't had this on the wall, none of that. What about the, the shoes? The, sh the shoes was in here. There was some shoes in here. Did you put these beds in Oh, no, I ain't had no beds in here. When I just came here the other day, it wasn't. It went, like, you didn't even put the bed frame in. No, it wasn't. So someone carried all this yes. heavy. Yes. And you, do you live, like, in Columbus? Like, yeah. you're saying? Yeah, I live in Columbus. So I've been working, and I ain't been able to come down here. But, you know, I, I came down here to pay my taxes on um, on Thursday. And I came by to ride by, and I see people bringing bags. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? The uninvited occupants had taken over multiple rooms in the house, not just the living room, and had firmly established themselves throughout the property. It was clear they had no intention of leaving anytime soon. As the officers moved to the upper level, they finally came across the first sign of life since entering the premises. Dang, police! Your side, make yourself known! There's someone in here. Dang police! You're inside, make yourself known! Okay. Alright, get your dog. Okay. Alright, alright. It's alright. Alright, it's okay, pup. Alright. 
call your dog. Alright, it's alright. You're not in trouble. It's a pit bull. Alright, is there anyone else in time? you walk? I'm going to people stay here. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Are there other people in these other rooms? She doesn't know. I don't know. I'm asleep. He's, he can tell you're scared. Just trying to slip this around the neck. Hi, puppy. She's okay. Oh my God. She's okay. She'll be all right. Hi, puppy. Good pup. Good girl. What's her name? Champagne. Champagne. Good girl. Champagne. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay, honey. Good girl. Have you been staying anywhere else besides here? No. How long have you been staying here? Like about a month. About a month? Who, who do you live with? My ex girlfriend. She see she's friendly. You'll go for a walk? You'll go for a walk? Mm -hmm. No, not that we found so far. What's your name? How do you uh, how do who's been who's who took care of you last? Tessa. When did that happen? When did she take care of you? Last night. Last night. The officers found a woman who seemed unwell and had trouble walking. Despite their efforts to get information from her, she claimed she didn't know how many people were in the building. The search for more information and occupants continued, leading to an unbelievable turn of events. How do they even have a secure? Hey, Oh my god, yes, there's one under there. A squatter was found hiding under the bed and was far less cooperative than the previous occupant. The man aggressively refused to follow the officer's orders, leading them to use tasers to subdue him. Use your fucking hands! Do it now! Yeah, I got one too. Right on you. I better get out of here. I got a gun on you. I better get out of here. I don't care. Come on, man. Get out of here. I got a gun on you. So what? I do two. On two of you. I better get out of here. Man. I can't see anything. Y'all better get out of here, man. No, I'm about to. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. I better get out of here. Here, pull it out. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. I'm not showing you my hands. Get out of here. Show me your hands. Do it now. Get out of here. Tell you five more times, and I'm gonna start shooting. Get out of here! One, two, one, two. He's under the bed. He's under the bed. I can't see. I'll see you right there. I'm gonna start shooting. No! Y'all better start. Man, listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start shooting. I'll see your foot. You see his hand? No. Nope. I'm gonna tell you one more time. Show your hands. Show your hands. Take police. I'm gonna tell you one more time, but I'm coming up over here. Fuck that one. Yes. I can't see shit. Come on, let go. Five, four, three, two, one. Get out of here. I'm gonna tell you one more time. Jeff, I'm gonna tell you one more time. Come on, let go. Can you see his hands? No. Go. 
Can you tell me what get under the bed? He's under the bed. We need a tape. Someone. All right, all right, all right. Quit. Quit. Hey, Get out of here. 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 Get out of do not tuck that hand down. Do not tuck that hand down. Hand behind your back now. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 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 I got you. Give me that. Yeah, damn. Hang on right now. Okay. He was hit with a taser multiple times in the back before being handcuffed. Despite this, the building wasn't fully secured, as there was still one more squatter for the officers to deal with. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing. I'm no, you're doing fucking drugs. No, I'm not doing drugs. Yeah, right. I'm not doing drugs. I swear to God. I'm clean. I'm recovering. <laughs> so you're staying in an opium den? No, it's not. This guy next door was staying. Said he was working it off. Let me work it off for rent. I'm sorry. I'm really not. I'm not trying to fight. I'm not persisting. That guy that but you're hiding. Because I get up. I'm, get up. I'm, uh, I'm scared of the guy. And you're staying with him. You're going downstairs. In the end, all three squatters were arrested and faced various penalties. What are your thoughts on these cases? Share your views in the comments below.